What's up guys, my name is Preston Palmer, Student Engineering. In this video, we're going to solve a problem using equilibrium equations. So what we have here is we have a spring that is attached to the wall and it's pulling on a ring that is attached to cables that are also attached to a wall. Now what we need to find is the tension in both of these cables. Well, it gives us a few measurements here and the K value of the spring and the unstretched length of the spring. That way we can find the force that the, string, that the spring is pulling with. So the first step in solving this problem, like most problems, is to draw a free body diagram. And what we're going to have here is we're going to draw a free body diagram of this ring because we need to find the tension in these two cables so we need to find the forces pulling on this ring from all sides. So we're going to have the ring here with the two forces coming off of it and our force from the spring pulling on this side. We're going to label this F sub S for the force in the spring. We're going to label these tension in BC and the tension in BD for the force or the tension in both of those ropes. And so the next thing we can solve for is the force in the spring. And remember that we can use the equation F equals KS to solve for the force that the spring is pulling at. And we're given that the unstretched length of the spring is 200 millimeters and it is stretched to 500 millimeters so that we know that the change in length of the spring is 300 millimeters. But one thing we need to watch out for is the K value is given to us in Newton meters, but we have our lengths in millimeters. So we'll need to be careful with the units on that and in other problems, and we'll need to convert them into the proper units. So we'll have that the force in the spring is equal to the K value, and we're gonna leave it in Newton meters here so that we can come up with a force in meter in Newtons. So it'll be 800 Newton meters times by our change in length, which we know was 300 millimeters, and we'll convert that into meters, so that'll be 0.3 meters. And so we can see that our meters are gonna cancel out and we'll be left with units of Newtons, and that's good because units of Newtons is the SI unit for force. And so you'll end up getting that force in the spring is equal to 240 newtons. And so we can come back up here to our free body diagram and label that to help us understand that and that way we can free up some space. So the next thing we need to do is we need to see what direction these two cables are pulling. And we can do that by solving for the geometry of these two triangles. So what you'll notice is that this side of the triangle is 400 millimeters, this side is 300, and this side isn't given to us, but we know that it's gonna be a three, four, five triangle, because that's the ratio of the sides. So without having to solve for anything, we know that this side is 500 millimeters. And we can use that, use the ratio of the sides to solve for that. Solve for the force, or the direction of the force, along this cable. The other one is we end up getting that both of these sides is 400 millimeters. And so, we know that these two sides are the same, so these two angles are going to be the same. And because we know that this is a right triangle, we know that these two sides are going to be 45 degrees. Because 180 minus 90 is 90 degrees, so you divide that by 2 and you get 45 degrees for each of those sides. So now what we need to do is we need to figure out in what direction these two cables are pulling and we can do that by solving for the geometry in each of these two triangles. And so we can observe that there's some relationships going on here. That this side is 500 millimeters because this ends up being a 3-4-5 triangle. 
because this side is 300, this side is 400, and this side is going to be 500. And so let's write that out. Have a little diagram here that we have this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So this side is our 4, this side is the 3, and this is the 5. And then this side, we're going to solve for the angle. And so we can see that each of these sides, they're both 400 millimeters long. And because this is a right triangle, there will be 90 degrees in this corner, and each of these sides is going to be 45 degrees. And so we know that this is 45 degrees. Our next step is going to be setting up our equilibrium equations, where we use these to help us solve for what the forces are in each of those cables. So let's start with some of the forces in the y direction. Well, we know it's going to equal zero because it's not moving. And we know that the force in the spring isn't going to act at all in the y direction. So it's just going to be these two forces in the cables pulling in the y direction. So what we need to do is we need to solve for the y component of this force acting along the cable. And so if we set up our triangle, we know that the sine of 45 equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And so we know that the hypotenuse is our tension, TBC. We can multiply that over the other side and say TBC times the sine of 45 degrees is going to be our y component of that force. For the other one, and this isn't normally the way I do it, I like to solve out for the angles, and then I can use sines and cosines to help me solve for the components of the force, but I'm going to show you how to do it this way. So this cable is pulling in the negative y direction, as we can see, when we set up our free body diagram, that this is the x direction and this is the y direction. So this is going in the negative y direction, so you're going to do minus. And then because the y component is this 3, so the length of the triangle on this side is 3 fifths of the hypotenuse. Our force is going to be three-fifths of the hypotenuse, and that is TBD, this force along this rope. So we can add this over to the other side, and we end up getting that TBD, three-fifths, is equal to TBC, and we know that this angle theta is 45 degrees. So remember that the sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2 from the unit circle. So we can, rep we can rewrite that as the square root of 2 over 2. And so if we multiply the 3 fifths over to this side, we'll get that the tension in the rope BD is equal to 5 times the top. So 5 times the square root of 2 divided by 3 times by 2 and get 6. TBC. We have one equation with two unknowns, but we need another equation with both of those unknowns to be able to set up a system of equations to solve for them. And we can do that by summing the forces in the x direction. So we have the sum of the forces in the x direction equals zero. And we can see that both of these forces in the cables are going in the positive x direction and the force from the spring is going in the negative x direction. So let's start with the force in cable BC. So we have the triangle here and we can see that our x component is going to be the cosine of 45 degrees equals our x component over our hypotenuse, TBC. So we can multiply the tension over to this side 
and that represents our x component. So TVC times by the cosine of 45 degrees plus the component of TVD, which we know that the 4 is the x component in this triangle. So 4 fifths of the tension in TBD is going in the x direction. So we'll say 4 fifths multiplied by TBD is the x component of that force. And then we have our force from the spring going in the other direction and we'll write it down here, 240. So it's subtracting because it's going in the negative direction. So we'll add this over to the other side and we know that cosine of 45 is also the square root of 2 over 2. So we'll rewrite this as 240 equals the square root of 2 over 2 TBC plus 4 fifths TBD. And we're going to write that over here with our other equation. Alright, so now we have two equations with two unknowns and we can solve that system of equations to get both of our unknowns and we can sub in, we have that TBD is equal to 5 square root of 2 over 6 TBC. So we can sum in this for TBD, and we'll write that equation as 240 equals the square root of 2 over 2 TBC plus 4 fifths, and this is where we sub this in for TBD, the square root 5 square root of 2 over 6 t b c. Well now we have one equation with one unknown and we can solve for that. So we'll multiply this, the 5's are going to cancel out, this is going to simplify to 2 over 3 and so we have 240 equals the square root of 2 over 2 TBC plus 2 square root of 3 over 3 TBC. We'll add these two together and you end up getting that 240 equals 7 square root of 2 over 6. TBC. So we'll multiply this over and we end up getting that TBC equals 145.4 newtons. So now that we have one solved, we can plug it into the other equation, we can plug it into this, and we can get TBD. And we plug that in we get TBD equals 145.4 multiplied by 5 square root of 2 over 6. You end up getting that equals 171.4 newtons. So that's it guys. That's how you use equilibrium equations to solve a problem. And again, if you didn't understand all this, you can go back to one of my other videos that explains equilibrium equations. It's titled Equilibrium Equations and you can use that to help you better understand how to go through these problems and solve them. And if you found this helpful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.